love running early in the morning. You know, it's nice. But I also love meditating a lot while I'm running and pondering on things because, you know, I, I do really value stoicism. And uh, so in the book Meditations, Marcus really says the concept that the uneducated blame the external. It could be people, it could be environment, it could be, you know, anything that's external, it's not their fault. You know what I'm saying? Because, well, I'm not practicing mindfulness. It's got to be someone else's fault for my non-preferred environment of life. You know, where the educated people that are, you know, a little bit in there, we're working on mindfulness, you know, because uneducated doesn't mean you don't have an education. You know what I'm saying? But the educated person is a little bit enlightened about the concept of mindfulness will tend to blame themselves. Like, ah, I should have known better. That's on me. And then you know, they take it all on like it's their fault all the time. Guilty. Right? Um, and then the true stoic, which is almost impossible to achieve, they don't blame anyone. Because they understand that it's this fine balancing act of imperfection because we're never going to achieve perfection. That kind of tosses us back and forth between uneducated with the blame and the victimhood and the educated with the, oh, it's my fault, I should have known better. You know, where the, the irrational emotion kind of gets in the way. You know, I got sucked back in again. Shit, man, you know, shouldn't have, you know, and if you look around these times, which can be said at any times, you know, in history, you know what I'm saying? There's always some chaos going on that we can blame others for or we can blame ourselves for getting caught up in, you know? So with all that, I try to at least, like with my personal training, my physical training, um, think about the same things with my, my stoic training, my mindfulness training. I'm never going to be perfect, right? So I'm going to be grateful in defeat. I didn't get that run time I wanted. Fuck, man, I fucked up again. I should have you know, lost my mindfulness for a second. But I'm going to be grateful for that because at least I have the awareness and the ability to do both. I have the physical ability to go try and run and make new times, and I have the awareness to say, well, failing's part of the process mentally as well. You know what I'm saying? And then, you know, I, I, I'm going to be I'm going to be humble in victory. I'm going to have an awesome opportunity to be more mindful, and or I do achieve a new run or a hundred mile distance or something like that. You know, I'm not I'm not going to be braggish. I'm not going to let that emotion take over. You know what I mean? So just to be in the game of this balance and act of perfect practice, you know what I'm saying, and failure you know, of life, to me, is everything. And that's why I love stoicism. That's why I love running. And as much as I hate failure, admitting my own faults and, and the irrational shit that I tend to fucking have going on sometimes, I'm grateful that I'm able to at least be in this game and practice. Because living is so much better than dying, baby. Love y'all. Have a good day.